Hello, hello. Good Hours by Robert Frost. I had for my winter evening walk no one at all with whom to talk, but I had the cottages in a row up to their shining eyes in snow, and I thought I had the folk within. I had the sound of a violin. I had a glimpse through curtain laces of youthful forms and youthful faces. I had such company outward bound. I went till there were no cottages found. I turned and repented, but coming back, I saw no windows, but that were black. Over the snow my creaking feet disturbed the slumbering village street like profanation by your leave at ten o'clock of a winter eve. Happy solstice. Today is the winter solstice. Christmas is almost upon us. Hanukkah is over and all the other... Uh, celebrations that go on at this time of year. So I thought I'd get a, today is my last day until uh, the beginning of the new year. I will not be recording and posting next week. I thank you all for tuning in and, and enjoying my poetry. I hope you're enjoying it. In any case, I wanted to have something that suited the solstice. And Robert Frost, with a name like Frost, and it is the winter solstice. And this is just a beautiful, lovely poem. These are the Halcyon days. The Halcyon days, uh, we always think of as nice, uh, a, a good time, peaceful, etc. And even though there's war raging in the world, traditionally, mythologically, these are the Halcyon days. The Halcyon days are seven days before the winter solstice, the winter solstice, and seven days after. So, uh, there's a story, a love story, a bittersweet love story that goes with the Halcyon days. Uh, sex and Halcyon, uh, sex spelled C-E-Y-X, it's a Greek myth. Sex and Alcyon were lovers, young lovers, and very beautiful. And they used to joke and call each other uh, Hera and Zeus. Well, Zeus heard this, and he became quite uh, upset by it. And he decided he would have some vengeance on them. And he bided his time and he watched. And it was at this time of year, before the solstice, that Sex told Alcyon he was going to Delphi to consult the oracle. And he set off on a ship. And she said, don't go. The weather can be so changeable at this time of year and so forth and so on. He said, no, no, I'm going. I, have, I must consult the oracle. It's my tradition this time of year, just go consult the oracle at Delphi. So he set off, and Zeus saw this, and he sent a storm that sank Sex's ship, and he drowned. And his last, his last words, his last wish were that his body would be found by Alcyon, so she knew what had happened to him, so she wouldn't worry and wonder what happened. And I have some notes on this. I, Hera, Zeus's mate, was uh, quite upset by all of this. He thought she thought that Zeus had overdone it, and she felt horrible that at this time of year, which is a the solstice is a celebration because it is the shortest day of the year, and the light begins to become longer at this time. So, Hera went to uh, Hypnos, who was the Greek god of sleep, and said, we have to let Alcyon 
know that sex is dead. C-E-Y-X, sex. That sex is dead. And so Hypnos sent his son Morpheus, the god of dreams, or the demigod of dreams, I guess he was a god, sent him to Alcyone as she slept, and he appeared to her as the soaked and drowned sex. And she knew that in her dream, and she woke up, and she ran to the beach, and there was sex's body floating in the water. So she was about to throw herself into the water, and Zeus saw this, and Hera was just furious with Zeus, so he decided, in, in honor of love, that he would help the two lovers. And so he brought the, uh, he brought, he brought, he turned them both into kingfishers, a type of kingfisher called the Halcyon. And I will try and find a picture of one to post in the thumbnail. I'm sure there are some on Art V, which is where I get a lot of those uh, classic paintings, artv.com. And thank you to them. Thank you to the Mushroom Sisterhood. Thank you to everyone who tunes in. Thank you to those of you who have subscribed. Thank you so much. So, Zeus turned Alcyon and sex into living kingfishers. And he quieted the waves for 15 days so that they could nest together in love. And thus, the Halcyon days, because the bird became called the Halcyon. And there you have it. That's the story of the Halcyon days and the winter solstice. And this is Good Hours by Robert Frost. Wishing you a great solstice, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, much love. Thank you for tuning in. Good hours. I had for my winter evening walk no one at all with whom to talk. But I had the cottages in a row up to their shining eyes in snow. And I thought I had the folk within. I had the sound of a violin. I had a glimpse through curtain laces of youthful form and youthful faces. I had such company outward bound. I went till there were no cottages found. I turned and repented, but coming back, I saw no window but that was black. Over the snow, my creaking feet disturbed the slumbering village sleep like profanation by your leap at 10 o'clock on a winter eve. Thank you. Happy holidays to everyone. Uh, so ends another broadcast day, a uh, broadcast week, and we're entering into a little period of halcyon days. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Peace and blessings to you and yours.